Blaze Buddies! What's up, everyone? <laughs> well, the sun has finally arrived, at least for today. We'll see how long that holds up. Speaking of holding up or staying strong, this week's uh, post that I put on said something to the effect of develop a strong mind and you will lead a strong life. You. <laughs> it's so true. And, you know, uh, recently I've had a few, you know, a few people, uh, sadly, I don't want to say quit but they, uh, they lost motivation, I should say. And it's sad because, you know, it, and what I, I'm just speaking for myself. I don't know what other trainers do. I don't know. <clears throat> I honestly don't pay attention to what other people do. I do my, my thing. I don't, I don't know. I, I have my own way of doing things. I'm, call me a control freak or whatever, but I, I have a system and systems that I do for myself and for everything, my, my amazing clients. And I put 120% or more into what I do. And, you know, when you're doing that and you, you're consistently, consistently trying to do better, to do better, not just for myself, I'm always trying to do better. I'm always trying to improve. I'm always trying to learn more. I'm always trying to be a better overall me. <laughs> but in turn, I do that so I can be better to get other people better. And when you're doing that and someone doesn't want to, um, they don't want to devote and dedicate all their energy to the success of them, it's, it's, you know, it's frustrating. I mean, I, I never will give up on someone. No matter how many times they want to quit or whatever you want to call it or give up motivation or whatever, I'm never going to, I'm always going to be there for that person or persons. But, you know, it's, you know, it's, it, I did, I have learned over the years that everyone is not as neurotic as I am. I know I'm very excessive. I said it. I'm very excessive. I, I overdo things. I'm over compulsive. And I've accepted the fact that not everybody can can be uh, as strict as I am with the way I eat and as, and as dedicated with their workouts as, you know, I'm, if you saw it, in my office, I have log sheets, spreadsheets, accountability logs, all pertaining for myself. And uh, cause I'm always trying to keep myself uh, accountable and all that excessive compulsiveness is I'm, like I said, I'm doing it. The more I do it for me, the more I can push other people. But I have learned that, you know, not everybody, people do experience temptation. People do have a hard time. It's really their relationship with food. They look at food in the wrong way. And I and I, I can honestly say that. If you if you relied on or perceived food as as I do as mainly survival. I don't eat for enjoyment. I literally don't. I, I eat plain I, I, you know, I do add some seasonings to my chicken or turkey or steak for my protein, but I eat everything raw, you know, and, but, and I would eat, quite honestly eat my shoe if I had to, if it gave me the enough macronutrients that I needed for the day. But people look at food as enjoyment and, you know, to, to the average person, you guys hearing me say that, you're like, well, what's... Exactly. What's the big deal? You're supposed to eat food for enjoyment. No, you really shouldn't. Because if you're constantly relying on, on that, that 
euphoric feeling of enjoyment from food, you're setting yourself up to fail. If you're trying to get physically better, aesthetically better, change the way you look for the better, get healthier, you should eat as simplistic and as as non-complex and as possible. But if you're always relying on the food tasting good, or I don't want to eat because it doesn't, I can't eat that. I would rather have cupcakes. I would rather have chocolate cake. Well, you're getting no nutrition out of that. And quite honestly, whenever you eat that shit, and I can honestly say shit, you're actually pulling nutrition out of your body. Put it now. You're malnourished. Now your system's constantly fighting to get healthy again. So people who can't stick to eating clean all the time. It's, you know, I, I, I'm sorry if this sounds disrespectful, but it's mental weakness. You're weak mentally. You can't, you know, my generation was brought up with the mind frame of it's going to take a long time to get things done. You're going to work as hard as you can and as, and as frustrating as things will be at times, you're going to keep working. You're going to keep working. You're going to get there over time. But nowadays, people want it tomorrow and they don't want to put the effort in, in getting it at least till tomorrow. So it's all a weak ass approach to your brain. So when someone, someone quits or decides that, quote, they don't like working out, it's, it's just them having, first of all, no, no, no dedication. They have no motivation, no dedication. And they, they don't expect themselves to succeed. They, they are constantly telling themselves they're going to fail. If you continuously, continuously tell yourself you're going to fail, if you continuously tell yourself you're fat, if you continuously tell yourself that you no, have no value and you're no good and you don't deserve to be happy, then you're going to start believing it. So cut the shit. Cut the fucking shit. Excuse my French. You honestly, dig down deep, look inside yourself and tell yourself you're going to do the best you possibly can and you're going to get there and it's going to suck. There's going to be times where it sucks. Most of the time it's going to suck, but you will get there, you know, and put this shit out of your mind about having food, having to taste good and, and cause you're just teaching your brain to look for a false avenue of enjoyment. The enjoyment should come in the changing of your body, the recomposition of your body, you looking in the mirror and seeing a better you, you being happy, you feeling sexy, you feeling like a badass from working hard, from sacrificing. That's where the enjoyment comes from, not eating a fucking cupcake. So please dig down and put your mind in a positive place and stay there. Keep reaffirming in your mind that you are a good person. You do look good. You are, you have value. And then dedicate yourself to, and, and sacrifice. Cause it's worth it in the end. I gotta go. I hope you all have a great weekend. I'm just leaving the gym now. And uh, I, I ask that you all do me a favor. Get the fuck in that gym and get it done. Get it fucking done. All right, I'll see y'all guys later.